Welcome to my Balloon Twisting for Beginners series where I teach you how to twist balloons like a pro. Hi, I'm Melanie from Balloon Artworks in Derbyshire in the UK. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple balloon bow. This balloon includes a pinch twist, so I'm going to show you how to make a pinch twist as part of this design. So you're going to need a 260 and inflate the balloon to a two finger tail okay. and then tie. So I did soften a little bit there and if you want a refresher on the tying technique check out the first lesson in this series which is where I show you how to make a pirate sword and uh, I'm going through in some detail uh, how to tie. So you're going to, we want to make the, the tail of the bow, one of the tails. So I'm going to twist off a bubble that is about four to five inches, okay? And then as we did for the pirate sword, make a loop, okay? And if I spread my hand this way, make a hand span, that's about the size of the loop. So maybe another five inches and then twist. Okay, and then make another loop to match this one. I'm just going to soften my balloon slightly, it was feeling a little bit full, and measure the two uh, bubbles together and then twist. Okay, and then I just like to check that they're a similar size and just wrap those two together. So they're not going to come undone, okay? Now what you'll notice, if we leave the bow like this, it's going to sit like that. And if you're not confident with this next stage, where I'll show you how to make a pinch twist, then you can always make a bow like this. Uh, and as you uh, become more confident with your pinch twists, you know, you can move on to the next stage. But if you, if you just find the next stage too difficult, then you can leave your bow like this. So we really want the loops of our bows to sit like this. And that's why we need to make a pinch twist because a pinch twist will hold everything in position and will stop the bow um, sitting this way. So what you need to do is just give your balloon a squeeze to make sure everything's nice and soft. And then just twist off a bubble here, okay? And then what you need to do is fold your balloon over, grab hold of that bubble, pull it out and then twist it round. So pull it out and twist it round. Okay, and that gives you a little bubble that will hold the ends of your bows in your bow in place. Okay. Now you will see that this uh, tail is a little bit shorter than this one. So because I tied a soft knot, I can just pull that down and just lengthen, just squeeze the air into the end and that has leveled up those two tails so they look a very similar length. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip off the end. I'm just going to trim this balloon and just snip off that bit of nozzle. So it just makes the end a little bit tidier. If you like the rounded look of your bow, that's great. You can leave it like that. But if you want to square off the bow a little bit, you can use the technique that we uh, that I showed you of the shock twist or the massaging. So this is more of a massaging of the balloon. So just part the, the loop and with your hands, just massage. So all I'm doing is massaging the sides. And you can see the difference in the shape. So that's got more of a squared off look. Okay, and then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So just part the loop and cup your hands around this part here and just gently massage. Okay, 
and that gives you a squared off look. So then you've got a really easy bow that's great to add to your flower bouquets and your other designs. And you've mastered pinch twists. Pinch twists are probably the hardest technique that you will have to master in your balloon twisting journey. But they're well worth it because they can make such a difference to what you can create as a balloon artist. So remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future balloon twisting lessons for beginners. And I'll see you in the next lesson.